newspaper published cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad in 2005. Protests around it, protests are protest around it, around the world. I was asked, I said, when they sneeze in Denmark, we get the flu in Jerusalem. <laughs> and that's what really happened. Because of the strong interface relations that we have developed in Israel, Palestine, and Jordan, I was able to work with a group of Christians and Muslims to respond to, respond to this crisis. It was a very serious crisis. We explained to Europeans and that Muslims, like Jews and Christians, have many faces, that the Muslim community is diverse and valid. But when their fundamental symbols and values are attacked, Muslims join together in their common identity. As a people in the Middle East, we try to convey the importance of that fundamental religious identity even among people who are otherwise quite secular. Even in the Arab world, when you used to say somebody is a communist or a secular, they are good religious people. It's different than the West. The Evangelical Lutheran Church in Jordan and the Holy Land used this situation as an opportunity to start a discussion about the freedom of religion and freedom of speech in our extensive school system, which is home to some 3,000 students. 50% of our students are Muslims. We have four schools throughout the cities of the West Bank, and they teach and proclaim an evangelical ethos, the primacy of peace between peoples, equal coexistence among religious adherents, a dialogue which promotes the ideals of non-violent resistance and gender equality. In our schools, Muslim and Christian students work through the issues of freedom of religion and freedom of expression resulting from the Danish publication. Side by side, from the youngest, from the kindergarten to the oldest, the 12th grade, and recognized that mutual regard and respect for the other is the foundation of peaceful coexistence. A life filled with hope. We can only see the image of God when we can respect the freedom of the other religion, but not freedom of expression to be against the freedom of religion, nor the freedom of religion should choke the freedom of expression.